everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog i haven't done a weekly vlog in a few weeks now but i wanted to vlog the last few weeks of my pregnancy so i'm currently 36 weeks pregnant i'm actually starting this vlog on a tuesday and i become like the next week pregnant on a saturday so it's only going to be a couple of days in this vlog and then i'm going to start the next one my nose looks really really red in there, I think it's because I am so pale, like I have no tan on. My skin looks really blotchy whenever I have no tan on. So those scars come through, which we love. But yes, it is Tuesday. I am 36 plus 3 today. It is almost 10 o'clock and I'm just having my breakfast and watching some Grey's Anatomy. I just wanted to start the vlog now, but I'll properly get into it when I have myself looking even slightly better. It won't be much better, but it may be slightly better. <laughs> it is a miserable day. Like, it is absolutely horrible. But I have a few messages to do. Oh my god, there's this weather. Um, I don't even have a few messages to do. I just have a few groceries to get for lunch, and then I have to get some for Shein. I don't know what I want for lunch, and also I've I kind of went into my hospital bag snacks, so I need to replenish, <laughs> replenish some of those. Bad idea. Look at my face. Oh my god, so yes, I have been crying. Don't be alarmed, I've just finished season 11 of Grey's Anatomy. That is why I'm crying. But we'll move on. Just wanted to address my face before... <laughs> Anybody thinks there's anything wrong. There's, well, there is. There's many things wrong. Many, many things. But I wanted to give you a bit of a bump update. So, like I said, I am 36 plus 3 today. And this is how we're looking. I've got a really itchy ribcage. I'm not sure what that is about, but I... I looked honestly the other day as if I dropped. Now I uh, do not at all. My bump looks smaller today. Oh my god, bodies are so weird. <laughs> Pregnant bodies are especially weird. So it is about time that I start washing some baby clothes. I'm really sorry for my appearance, but if you watch Grey's Anatomy or you've watched it in the past, you'll know why, I'm, why I look like this. Not good but yeah time to start washing baby clothes so i'm just gonna take out all the wee baskets that i have in the chest drawers and sort through everything and wash it all and i also need to do the sheets for the cod as well actually the first things i'm gonna wash are the baby clothes that are in my hospital bag if you missed that where the hell oh my god they're in the other they're in the other bag um if you missed my last video it was my what's in my hospital bag pack my hospital bag so be sure to check that out but the other bag is actually in my car so i need to go get it it has three b outfits in it somebody said to bring another one so i will pack another one there's no harm in just packing like one or two more outfits really outfits like they're proper like accessories and sleep sets three more or two more sleep sets I think I'll probably pack just to have extras because I don't know what size the baby is going to be if it's going to come early which I think it is I think it is let me know what you think my prediction is the 12th of May but I think it could come before that I don't know but that's the date that Shane and I are both predicting, is the 12th of May. I'm due on the 15th, so I'm saying the 12th. I don't know. But if anybody else wants to guess in the comments, do that. That'd be fun. So the first load of washing is done. I put it on a baby and toddler wash, which took 3 hours 16 minutes. Which... <laughs> I don't know why it took so long. Obviously the clothes need to be really, really clean. But I'm just about to... Oh, 
There's Shane. Um, I'm just about to put them up. I brought down one of the clothes horses. So I'm going to put it up in our sitting room and it's all going to smell lovely and fresh and everything. But... Hi. Say hi. That's true. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to put the clothes up on the clothes horse now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I look like John Owen. Shane and I are in the town. We're going to go for a walk. At, uh, what time is it? Like half seven? Half seven. Half seven. And this coat um, fits me really, really well. I can't zip it up. Like, I can't even get the zip nearly, to even nearly. nearly zip up. Like, it's disgraceful. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tuesday. I didn't even vlog anything after our walk last night, I don't think. But we just came home, ate, and what did we watch? We watched something, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, the, the Great British Bake Off the stand up to cancer one but i have just spent this morning going through all the baby clothes that i washed yesterday and it feels great that they are all now clean and i can put them away that makes me feel a lot better but also i tinted my eyebrows last night i'm actually getting them done next week because everything opens actually this friday but i wanted to leave everything like all my appointments a week or two so that it'd be fresher for me getting into labour basically. So I tinted my own eyebrows last night just quite lightly because they were non-existent. But yeah I have my eyebrows, I'm getting a lash lift, uh, I'm getting my nails done as all next week and then the week after I am um, getting my hair done. So I'm very excited but I wanted to show you all the clean clothes. Exciting. <laughs> These are two cot sheets, tops, like of sets, bottoms of sets. I need to put these together, put them with the other socks. Muslin cloths, that is two swaddles. This is all the clothes are taken into the hospital. This is long sleeved vests, short sleeve vests. Um, Baby grows. Then there's two hats, bibs, and then this like wee cloth thing. We have so much clothes for the baby. We have bought quite a lot, and then we got gifted quite a lot whenever um, I have my baby shower. So we're very, very, very lucky. I am so grateful. To anybody who brought a present to the baby shower, thank you very much because babies can wear multiple outfits in a day. Multiple. So we're going to need all the clothes, I think. <laughs> but the poor Wayne is going to be in neutrals for the first three months. Like there's going to be nothing in <laughs> pink or blue, pretty much. But I'm just sitting now watching season 12, episode 2 of Grey's Anatomy. I actually have to go and get a patch test for my eyebrows today. Also go to the bank. And then Mummy and I are heading to get some groceries and I'm also going to fill my car with diesel so that I'm prepared if I go into labor early. Mummy and I have been and got our groceries and everything and I am now going to eat some pineapple. So I don't know what this is meant to do. It's meant to like ripen your Damn it, that was open. Ripe in your cervix or soften something. It's meant to do something, but also dates are meant to do that. I bought dates. They're vile. Oh my god. You say it's nature's toffee. No. They're disgusting. Oh my god. Absolutely rotten. Like I couldn't get over. How much I hated them. They were absolutely revolting. Uh, so I'm not eating those. I literally have two packets of Medjool dates from fucking Marks and Spencer's as well. So it's not even as if it's like wee cheapies. It was from M&S. So I really thought they'd be nice. But they're not. But yeah, I'm going to sit and eat my pineapple. 
the furthest date was like the 25th and while I'm filming this it is about filming this clip it's the 21st so I could only get for 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th I only got four I'm a dickhead could have got five so it is time to start oh my god I look massive in my dressing gown but yes it is time to start putting away actually the baby clothes that I washed I have not put them away yet they're all just still sitting out which is kind of stressing me out that they're all just sitting out there but I have them in like vests and baby clothes as I showed you earlier so it is just a matter of putting them away and then I'm gonna go to the bath scrub my skin and do some tan and make myself feel better. <laughs> Morning everybody, welcome to Thursday. Oh god. I wet my tan, I haven't showered the top layer of it off yet. So I've wet it and it's not good. <laughs> but like I said, it's Thursday so there's a new episode of This Is Us Out this morning. Please excuse this, I have not had a spot in. Oh there isn't a new episode of This Is Us, it appears. Yeah, I haven't had a spot and I know how long. And then I got one here. It's completely gone. But this one is just lingering. Which is lovely, but I've just had to leave my brother to the bus. He has to go up to uni. Um, he's revising. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh my God, I'm moving down there. Oh, why are you lying? Oh my god, this baby. <laughs> I swear. Um, but I'm just going to have my breakfast. I'm actually having chocolate and hazelnut crunchy nut granola. And natural yogurt. So I'm excited for that. Let's hope that it's yummy. Alarmingly enough, I look the exact same. And it is 20 past one. But I am going to sort out... I also haven't washed off the top layer, list, layer of this tan off yet. Um, I'm going to sort out my wardrobe today. I do need to take a break in the middle because the health visitor is coming here. Um, I didn't know that was a thing, but the health visitor comes out before the baby's born. I don't know, I just thought it was after. But I'm going to sort out my wardrobe and take out the things I know are not going to fit me postpartum. So there's going to be stuff that's too big, like there's maternity stuff in there that I'm getting rid of because, I'm not getting rid of, I'm going to put them in a box for hopefully a pregnancy down the line, but I don't want them now. There's also jumpers in there that I kept in assuming that I was going to wear throughout my pregnancy and I didn't, so I'm just going to get rid of those because we're coming into summer, spring and summer, so I hope to not need too many jumpers so I'm gonna do that I have lots to go through but first I'm gonna hop in the shower wash off the top layer of this tan and then I'm going to eat realistically and then after that the health filter will be here so I'm probably just gonna have to do this after but as long as I get it even started today no I need to get it done today it only started today I need to get this finished. So the health visitor has been and gone. It's now 25 past four actually. She was here at like five to three. And I just have sat moving makeup about. I'll show you into what later. I got a new like makeup bag because I no longer have a dressing table, obviously, in my bathroom. And not obviously, if you haven't watched me for a while, I used to have a dressing table in my bathroom and I had no shower. Now things have changed, so there is no longer room. Oh my god, are they passing? Well, there's no longer room for a dress table. So I kind of just sit at this window and do 
my makeup, which isn't the best, but it is what it is. I need to get a pair of sun sunglasses because I'm heading into the town to get a few things. Mommy needs a few groceries, so I'm going to do that. And then I still haven't actually done anything in my wardrobe. So I need to do that. <laughs> Although there's come a training tonight that I need to go down. Well, I don't need to, but I'm gonna go down and watch. Obviously, I'm not training because pregnant. Oh, also, I think I might have dropped. I don't know. I feel like I've just got more room here. I'll set you up here so you can see. Actually, I don't know. What do we think? I feel like my room's much pointier. It looks as like if it's sitting out so much. Oh my god. So big <laughs> but yeah I just feel like I have more room here and it feels pointier like I literally cannot see my feet at all. Oh I almost showed you the tan that I used that I'm not allowed to show yet. But good morning everyone. It actually looks dark. Why does it look dark? It's not. Please excuse the shape of me. Look at my psoriasis at the minute. Isn't it so bad? Not fun. But it is Friday. It is 20 to 10. And I'm off to call. I leave Andrew down. Oh, okay. I was about to say I have to leave my brother down to the bus again today, but I don't. Mommy has obviously just told me I don't have to. I'm currently sitting on the toilet, like, obviously not, like, with, with the seat closed. I'm not sitting on the toilet. Um, But I'm just up and did my skincare. I did another wee half layer tan last night, hence why I'm looking... Very, very brown. Very brown. I cannot wait to be able to tell people about this tan. It's really frustrating that I can't and it's not launching for another couple of weeks or something, I think. Um, but oh my god, it's unreal. I'm actually nearly finished my bottle, which is very sad. But that's the way it is. But I have the final episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier to watch. My wee brother Andrew just came in to me and was like, well, have you watched it yet? And I was like, no. And he was like, okay, okay. So, oh, yeah, I need to go watch it. I need to go make my breakfast, sit down and watch the final episode. I'm so excited. But I have been so bad at vlogging. I think it's just because I haven't done it for, was it a month or so that I didn't vlog? So I like completely forgot to vlog anything else yesterday, which is really shit of me, considering the fact this vlog is only gonna be like a few days. Like this is the last day of this vlog and then I'm starting another vlog tomorrow because I'm only 37 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So this is the last day that if the baby was born, it would be considered like not full term. Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. So yeah, I'm excited to start that vlog then next week or tomorrow for next week. So I'm hopefully going to get this one edited and up for Sunday. I don't know. I think that it makes the most sense to me if I start the vlogs on a Saturday, finish them on a Friday, get them up for a Sunday. So hopefully I have managed to do that. But anyway, let's go watch some Marvel. <laughs> so this is the progress that I've made. These are all dresses. Hi. These are all dresses that will not fit. Do not fit at the minute and will not fit like... I don't know why I get that down. I've actually never worn that dress. This will just be too tight. That'll be too tight. That'll be too tight. That'll be too tight. And so will that. This is more like knitwear and just stuff that I don't really reach for. I always wear this yellow jumper but it is knitwear, hopefully I won't need it. This is all maternity and then I'm going to put this dress on today. So that's why that's out. So this is how we are looking at the moment. This is all sweatshirts and like jackets. And then these are all my bottoms that hopefully will fit, even though I'll probably just be living in leggings and sweats. And then these are all dresses and longer things from here. 
And then that's all just tops of some description. <laughs> Still haven't showered, so I really need to go do that now. It is five to one. Gonna go shower, wash my hair, eat my lunch, and then get myself sorted. And then I was gonna head over and get a few things in like the town next to us, but I don't know if I can be bothered or really have time. We have, I don't know if I mentioned that we have Shane's, no, I don't think I did. We have Shane's Granny's Month's Mind tonight. So that's actually why I hadn't been vlogging, it was because we had our bereavement in the family, obviously. So, um, hard to believe it's been a month, but it is her month's mind tonight. So that is what I'm doing tonight. My daddy has just been sending in pictures of, um, our dog um, that died in September. She's literally dead seven months. Um, he's been sending in pictures of her, so if you're wondering, actually, I, I really don't even look as if I've been crying, but I have. Um, just like pictures of her as a puppy. If you don't know, we had her for 16 years. She was like 16 and a half, or 16 and a bit whenever she died, so. Um, it literally was like a death in our family. Like it was, this is gonna sound really, really dramatic for people who don't know dogs. Probably the most traumatic death I've ever experienced. And that's saying something. But I am just sitting on my birthing ball. Shane's like, it's called an exercise ball. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm not doing too much exercise in this. I know I'm obviously not birthing on this either, but it is in preparation for the birth. I just stuck on the dress. I just uh, dried and straightened my hair. And I'm now going to get my laptop out and start doing some more of the Positive Birthing Company's hypnobirthing course. So, like I said, or yeah, I'm 37 weeks tomorrow, so three weeks to due date and I haven't yet finished this course and I would really really like to get it finished <laughs> because I don't I don't think I have much left but I would just really really like to get it finished so that I know that I know everything that they've like that they're suggesting me you can find me on instagram at the positive birth company free to get Done. in touch with me in those ways and yet I can't wait to see the baby arrive I'm slightly out of breath <laughs> starting this clip, but I wanted to show you what I said I had moved my makeup into. So it's basically this bag. It's from what does it say? the Flatley Company, London. I got it on ASOS. So you just like open it up and it basically has, this is all my makeup. Incredibly handy. So like, look at that, like that's completely full and so handy that it's all just like laid out so that I can see everything. And then when you like tighten it, it just, it's so handy. And it just sits like that and you just pack that away. But the reason that I have just remembered to show you is because I'm putting a few makeup bits in my bag because I'm just getting ready to go here soon-ish. But I also was putting other makeup in a wee makeup bag because I'm not going too far without my hospital bag now. Hospital bags now. So I wanted to put a wee bit of makeup in just to make me feel a wee bit better if I do end up going into labour tonight. When I'm machines, who knows? Let's hope not. But, um, oh my god. Look at that dark circle under my left eye. Hmm, not good. But yeah, packing a bit of makeup in my hospital bag. Last bag. There we go. Bag's packed. You can't see them, but nope. Hi right there. That is me home from Shane's and right, I'm not gonna lie, I can't see right now because like I said before I left, I packed my hospital bags like fully because I was going like 
first of all I was going in the direction of the hospital and secondly I was going like 25 minutes away so I just thought it's best to pack everything um, and my glasses are in my suitcase and I <laughs> cannot be bothered going back out to my car to get them. I had an extra lens case so I just took out my lenses, put them in solution and they're fine. Um, but I can't see because I don't have my glasses on and I have my lenses out of my eyes. But one last thing that I'm gonna finish this vlog on is this really weird finishing this vlog when I actually physically cannot see so I could be out of focus this entire time really sorry if I am but I'm going to spray some of this my expert midwife keep your cool so my friend Orla got me this Orla thanks um for my baby shower she didn't get it for my baby shower she you know what I mean but this is really good for swelling I'm going to show you my ankles so they don't look terrible when I have my socks on and then when I take them off Look at that line. Please ignore my feet, but like, that tells you how small they are. And these are like, they're not tight socks at all. So I'm gonna spray this on my feet. Oh my God, pregnancy is weird. I hope this doesn't take off my tan. But everybody, that is the end of my 36 week pregnant vlog. I am going to be starting a new vlog tomorrow. I think I mentioned that. So there will be another vlog coming of next week. I'm not sure what other videos to film, you know, at the minute leading up to the baby being born because there's not an awful lot happening other than, you know, me just kind of waiting for the baby to come. But if anybody has any requests or ideas or anything, let me know because I just don't know what you want to see, you know, at this stage of pregnancy. But like, I look really, like, I can't see me, but I can just see that I look really red. Am I really red? I was probably out of focus that entire time as well, but I literally am so blind, it's really bad. Oh my God, I need to stop talking, go to bed, because I have an early -ish start tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.